He is the prophet, the priest, the king, the servant, the sacrifice, the temple, the dwelling of God among men. He's the last Adam that we read of, the first one in Genesis. He's the Lamb of God and the tabernacle and the rescue and the Passover lamb from Exodus. He's the sacrifices and feasts of Leviticus. He's the star that would come from Jacob, the scepter that would arise from Israel. That jigsaw piece is in numbers. In Deuteronomy, he's the lawgiver and the law keeper and the final prophet. He's the captain of our salvation who leads us into the promised land from the book of Joshua. He's the mighty one bound whose binding brings about our salvation. And judges from Ruth. He's the kinsman redeemer who shelters the outcast. He's the defeater of our giant enemies from 1 Samuel. He's the good shepherd king of 2 Samuel. He's the wise peace bringing king from 1 Kings. He's the merciful, miracle working Elisha whose name means the salvation of God from 2 Kings. He's the son who always sits on the throne of David. And he's the temple of the Lord in all its magnificence. The place where God meets with man of First and Second Chronicles. He's the bringer back from exile of Ezra. He's the repairer of God's city and the wall around God's people of Nehemiah. He's the one who intercedes on behalf of his people from Esther. He's the redeemer that Job saw who would stand upon the earth and give life back to his people. He's the sum and substance and singer of every one of the 150 Psalms. He's the living embodiment of the wisdom of the book of Proverbs. He's the answer to all Ecclesiastes questions. He's the altogether lovely husband of Song of Solomon. He's the virgin son and the pierced prince of peace and the crushed servant of Isaiah. Jeremiah's jigsaw pieces include the righteous branch, the wise king, the Lord our righteous saviour. Lamentations by Jeremiah. We see a glimpse of our saviour as the people of God under the judgment of God. He's the good shepherd in the new temple and the river of life from Ezekiel. He's the fourth one. The one who looked like the son of God in the furnace with his people in Daniel. He's a stone that became a mountain from Daniel. He's a forsaken husband who rescues and redeems his fickle, faithless bride in Hosea. He's the one who pours out his spirit on his people from Joel. He's the fearsome judge who punishes the nations of Amos. He is the defeater of the persecutors of his people from Obadiah. He's the one who was dead and is risen from the grave from Jonah. He's the one whose origins were from of old, but who was born in Bethlehem. From the book of Micah, he's the warrior of Nahum. He's the reason why Habakkuk in his despair could still rejoice. He is the coming day of the Lord in Zephaniah. He's the one who said, I will build my church. In the book of Haggai, he's the one who clothes his people in righteous white purity against all the accusations of Satan in Zechariah. He's the son of righteousness who is healing for his people preceded by that great Elijah preaching in the wilderness make smooth make plain the way for the Lord. We read of in Malachi. 1500 years 30 different authors 39 books all fragments funneled down into one person That's what I mean by fool. That's what I mean by rich 